Back worship, youth meeting, and Bible study, the most important thing in my life is not the season. None of my activities are geared around the season. None of my plans are around the season. The most important thing in my life is Calvary. It had not been his birth was wonderful. Had not been his birth, there could have been no death. But the most important thing that ever happened in the annals of God's eternal destiny of man was a cross, a cross, and a cross. The man in the middle, not the man on the other side, not the man on the other side, but the man in the middle, it doesn't take me very long to enter into worship. But I think of what he's done for me. When I think of where I've been and where he's brought me to. When I think of the goodness of God. I'm an old-fashioned Christian. Hand clapping, foot stomping, crying out Christian. I'm not ashamed of my emotions. Because God gave me my emotions. He gave me the, the emotion to have, to laugh, to cry, to praise him with, to have joy in my heart, and to say that Jesus lives today. He's alive, and he's coming back again. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. There's no cure but Jesus in your life. There's no remedy but Jesus in your life. Joining a church will not fix it. Becoming a member of a club will not fix it. Drinking a certain drink will not fix it. It will not do it. Having a certain job, living in a certain kind of home, whether it's poor or rich, will not fix it. If your heart tonight is not right with God, you've got a problem. But if your heart is right with God, you've got peace with God. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm so glad tonight because we're here and we have so many new people with us on Wednesday night tonight. Justin Dickerson, where are you? Over here, brand new family looking for a church. Looking for a place to come. Justin Pastor Marley wants to welcome you. I'll get to know you and your family, your wife is working tonight, I understand, but, uh, but you listen, here's a church where you're needed, appreciated, and wanted, and you come and be at home with us. Our services are not programmed, they're not ritualized, uh, they're not dogmatized with religious dogma, a lot of trappings, you'll have to come more than one time to really, really see the church, but welcome, Justin Dickerson, we're so glad that you're here. And then in the middle of the uh, sanctuary here tonight is uh, Mark and, and is it Ella? Um, uh, where's Mark and Ella? Where, 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 where are you? Oh, back here, I'm sorry. Back, back here, not in the middle, oh, on this side of the middle. Uh, uh, Mark, hold up your hand back there. And, and Beatrice, hold up your hand back there. Praise the name of the Lord. He's, Mark is a minister of the gospel, and he loves God. I met him at his home the other night. Uh, through Brother Peter here, our young brother just arrived from Haiti, and I want Mark and Beatrice tonight to feel at home, uh, both of you, with us, and come and be a part. We're so glad that you're here. Where's Heather tonight? Where's he Heather? Over there. Over here. Heather, welcome to our church tonight. May you be at home with us. We love you, and you're a part of us, and we're a part of you, and this is God's family. And I don't know of another uh, gathering where you'll find more diversity or more people that just come together because God brought them together. God brought us together. We're a family, and I praise him because we are a family life. Hope you young people come here to get something from God tonight. In your youth meeting, you'll be going to that in just a moment. I trust tonight the Bible teaching or whatever God gives. And if you have a testimony, you can interrupt, Brother Marlowe. Uh, I'll, I'll delay my Bible lesson. I'll stop and wait 
if you've got a testimony to tell about Christ, and uh, uh, I know that Mark's writing a book, he's gathering extraordinary testimony <coughs> of people that have been had miracles in their life. I told him to come several times, and we'll fill that book here. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We'll fill that book with miracles that God has done and is doing. Praise the name of the Lord. So we just want you all to be welcome, be at home tonight. We want to pray for the sick, the afflicted, the needy, and those without, and the homeless, and, and the underprivileged, and all of those that are suffering in the city of Bradenton, in the nation, the county of Manatee, Sarasota. Let's pray that God will help his family on this earth tonight. And believe God. And then our suffering here in the church and our needy, let's pray for them. Why don't you lift your hand with me right now? Let's give the Lord a praise offering. Let's give him a praise offering and give him a praise offering and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord and praise the Lord and praise the Lord and praise him again and praise him again and praise him again and Lord remember our sick tonight. Remember the afflicted. Remember the hospital ones, the nursing homes, the underprivileged, the homeless. Those that in our nation are sick tonight and sin, sick and sickness, oh God, be God tonight in America. Come back to America and God bless America. Praise the name of the Lord. Let your power and bless your spirit go out across the world and touch the suffering and the lonely and the afraid and those that are fearful. Oh, God, tonight, be with everyone that's walked through these doors and let your presence be here and let them know that they're here because of divine destiny and divine purpose and divine calling. Lord, ignite every one of us, fire every one of us up, Lord, tonight with a spirit of revival. Lord, let our church raise our hands in victory and let there be power in the blood tonight. Power in the name of Jesus. Power in the cause of the gospel. We love you tonight. We believe the banner of Jesus Christ stained in the blood is here tonight. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. Amen. And everybody said, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Look at your neighbor right beside you and say, praise the Lord, neighbor. Amen. 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 Sister Susie. Yes. Can I introduce Tammy and Eric? This is their first night. I just met them. They're visiting here from the Sarasota area. Please do. Please, Cindy, I didn't Cindy Dake invited them. them. Amen. Yes. Yeah, I didn't have the card up here. I was looking right at you. Didn't call your name. But I want to welcome these. These are some more folks with us. And I met them. And the Spirit of the Lord is in them. Amen. And I believe they're here by God's purpose. Yeah. 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 Tammy and Eric, make yourself at home with them. Yeah. I think she's a West Virginia hilltopper. <laughs> uh, and uh, are you from Virginia, did you tell me, or where? New Jersey, New Jersey. New Jersey, my, my, my. New Jersey. New Jersey. <laughs> Praise our God. Uh, we're, we're so, the Garden State. We're, we're, we're happy to have uh, Eric and Tammy with us tonight. And uh, we want to give the Lord the praise for all of his goodness to this church. God is indeed blessing this church. Amen. To you on the internet tonight, across America, across the world, yes. we greet you from the tabernacle. Amen. And our worship and our praise and our giving ourselves to God. Praise the name of the Lord. We have the praise. Uh, I, want, I want our elders to get the um, uh, offering quickly together. And uh, Brother Matthew, you take the youth offering out there, all right? You and 